two prime times in, what have you learned about planning for a virtual show and, and everything that you're doing with Nationwide Learning Academy, you know, from that virtual aspect? Everything you knew up to this point really doesn't apply anymore. You got to throw it out and you got to relearn. And there's been so many challenges with the pandemic. One of the great things that's come out of this learning that we've had over the past year is that when we have the right content available on demand and ready to consume, it, the consumption of it and the impact of that content goes up exponentially. Welcome into the Independent Thinking Podcast. This is your host, Rob Stott. You know, leave it to Mr. Mike Whitaker, uh, our chief everything officer here at uh, Nationwide Marketing Group, to finally find his way onto the podcast after 61 episodes and then eke out a two-part series with us. Now, we we love Mr. Whitaker. Uh, Mike is a, a guy that, uh, you know, when you get into one of those five-minute conversations, they can turn into an hour and uh, hour-long discussion. And, um, you know, it, it was great to have him and, and You'll see in this two-part series, you know, this first part here, time perfectly right ahead of virtual prime time, a lot of uh, educational discussions going down, and, and we'll dive into all that. But uh, part two, he actually flips the mics around, so we're excited to have that in a couple of weeks and uh, hear him, uh, his questions for me uh, on the Independent Thinking Podcast. So, But we'll start right here uh, with part one with Mike, and uh, like I said, it's all about education. You know, With these virtual shows, as we learned over the past couple of months and uh, this past year of attending virtual events, the spotlight is really on education uh, and, and getting the most content, the most valuable content for attendees, for members you know, at these shows. And uh, who better to talk to about that than the guy that's been at the helm of Nationwide Learning Academy and, and really pushing that, uh, that program forward and, and evolving it over the past couple of years. And uh, Mike talks about his experience, you know, with the in-person shows, how he's sort of what he's taken from those in-person shows and, and what he applied to virtual primetime back in October. And then, you know, what he learned from that experience and has brought to the March virtual primetime here, uh, you know, that, as we uh, drop this episode this week. So a uh, lot to learn. And, you know, he had a lot of great insights about you know what it takes to successfully plan a slate of educational sessions for a virtual event and, uh, you know, what it even means moving forward. So uh, we're, we're pumped to have Mike on, uh, pumped to get to talk to Whitaker about everything he's working on. And uh, this, this first part is, uh, it's all about him. So let's go ahead and dive into this independent thinking podcast with Mike Whitaker of Nationwide Marketing Group. All right, and we are back in on the Independent Thinking Podcast, and I don't know if I've ever had a more difficult challenge ahead of me uh, of keeping us on track and uh, on topic, but we're going to try. I, you know, I, I held you off. I fended you off for 61 episodes, Mike Whitaker, but here we are. <laughs> it's happening. They eventually always let the guy on the podcast who can't stop chasing the squirrel. That's right. all I can say, Rob. <laughs> so, so you finally caught it, and you're here. <laughs> so I, I thank you for... Uh, first of all, I know that this we're talking, you know, a couple of days here. Uh, this podcast will drop during the start of prime time, but a couple of days before prime time. So I understand what your schedule is like and what our, our schedules are like. So the fact that I even got any couple of minutes of your time, um, I, I appreciate. So first of all, thank you. And uh, let's have some fun. Well, Rob, thank you for inviting me on. I do want to say thank you for what you're doing here and getting this great information out to members. I will tell you, uh, as we look at the forecast, late breaking going into prime time. We all wanted to be together in Denver so bad this week. That was that was the goal. And unfortunately, pandemic continues. We're not quite there where we can get together live. But here's the fun part. We are not in Denver as they sit expecting their heaviest snowfall <laughs> since 1895. Oh, boy. Yeah, we. so let, let's just say it, it, everything happens for a reason, right? <laughs> yes, virtual is definitely not all bad. So many great things that are going to be coming next week. Time members are listening to this podcast. They are in the midst of what I will, be, I believe will be the single greatest virtual prime time ever. That's all. Well, the, uh, the second, so it, it will certainly top October and uh, Rob, you know. <laughs> Rob, Rob, it's not about what number it is. It's about the fact that it is the best virtual prime time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, one thing we have learned, whether it's prime time or any other show that we've had the chance to attend um, virtually over, over these past 12, 13 months, crazy to think it's already been a year, but oh. you know, it, it, 
it's that education and the the chance to learn has really taken sort of the center stage, uh, the main stage, if you will, of uh, you know what happens at these virtual events and and sort of where the focus becomes. And I mean, who better to talk to than the guy that has been leading Nationwide Learning Academy, uh, you know, over the years and now into this virtual era of trade shows. So I, I want to start, you know, right there with you talking about, you know, I, like we said, two prime times in. What have you learned about planning? for a virtual show and, and everything that you're doing with Nationwide Learning Academy, you know, from that virtual aspect? So Rob, it's a, it's a great question. And I'll, I'll say this, what we learned is the same thing that our retailers have learned in the past year. And that's that everything you knew up to this point really doesn't apply to you. Throw it out. <laughs> uh, you got to throw it out and you got to relearn. And there's been so many challenges with the pandemic. But as you mentioned, one of the great things that's come out of this learning that we've had over the past year is that when we have the right content available on demand and ready to consume, it, the consumption of it and the impact of that content goes up exponentially. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really go old school on you here. Now, I know you are um, far younger than I am, so I'm going to use some words you may not have heard of. But when we first started education and, and Nationwide's commitment to the members in that area, it was so far back that those first training programs went out on VHS tapes. <laughs> Hey, shipping, I know what those are. <laughs> shipping, cl shipping clamshells all across the country. Here's the fun part. To take those certification exams and earn those early member net reward prizes, you had to take your test on paper with a number wow. two pencil. And you had to now fax. That I, I might have some trouble identifying a number two pencil. But There were these things called fax machines. <laughs> they were a little like scanners. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, and those came back in. And, and as we've had that evolution, Nationwide learned very early on. We took education online in 2003. So a very early opportunity for members to engage through MemberNet. So with our current uh, Nationwide Learning Academy online, that has been in place, the, the platform we've been on for the past about six years, uh, mobile optimized all of the, the little bells and whistles that make it easy for folks to consume content. We've seen a phenomenal engagement from the frontline sales teams and delivery teams within our membership. Um, we're averaging around 250 to 300,000 certifications a year. Wow. COVID hit, that number went up to about 350,000 certifications. Wow. But where it really was magical, uh, we've always wanted our teams to train online and we've always had the resources to do. But as leaders, as executives throughout the independent channel, our learning typically came at prime time. It came at an event where we learned live. And that's blown up over the past few years live. When we uh, chartered the Nationwide Learning Academy to bring all Nationwide educational initiatives together in 2016, we were averaging around 1,000 session attendees per show, and we thought that was great. We listened to our dealers' feedback. We made a lot of modifications as we went into that first show in 2016 as the Nationwide Learning Academy, and since then, we thought we'd really discovered the secret. We averaged about 5,000 session attendees per show, and then the pandemic hit. And we took it out of that live format. We had no choice. Sometimes we learn because we chose to innovate. Sometimes we learn because we're forced to innovate. Yep. But we went to the show in October with over 100 educational opportunities for owners, executives, and key decision makers. And by the time the show had wrapped and the dust had settled, there were over 16,700 sessions. Attended. Wow. It's unbelievable. That's a lot of education. And a lot of that, as we listened to the dealer's feedback, as we asked them about that, there were several factors. Number one, we knew the sessions online had to be short. So we kept those sessions under 30 minutes. The folks at TED really figured it out. If you can make your point in 18 minutes, you can maintain great attention span and retention of the information. So they're shorter sessions. And what might have been a 75 or a 90 minute session at a previous show, we've learned to take that content and make it three digestible sessions three more tactically planned sessions that last 20 minutes. So as presenters, which we have many experienced experts throughout the nationwide team and all the great folks in the industry that we work with, we're all learning to get it up and get it down a lot faster, a little more podcast stuff, if you will. Hey, <laughs> uh, make it a little conversational, make it enjoyable. Uh, nothing wrong with having a smile as, as we learn new ideas, new concepts. And then it confirmed a strategy that, was implemented at the end of 2019. And at the end of 2019, we started to look at our current LMS, uh, which is where we house our content for frontline sales users and, and for those frontline folks in our member companies. 
And we knew there was a desire from owners, executives, key decision makers to be a little more tactical and to have content just for them. So we knew that with the, the platform we had built, it had been alive for six years, which in the world of technology is it's a long time. It is a senior citizen at that. Yeah. <laughs> so we sent Chris Bryant and his team kind of into the development lab and said, we need a brand new LMS. Now, one of the things we know in working with a, a network as unique as Nationwide is that there's nothing off the shelf that works. There's nothing <laughs> off the shelf that has custom capabilities that you need to truly serve our members, truly you know, live out our promise to them and help them thrive on their own terms. So we went into the development process of a totally custom LMS. As we come out of that, we're so excited to launch that at prime time. That, that's one of those last second, hey, but did you know we're launching this here to show? Uh, it's, it's now very, very uh, intuitive in working with MemberNet. So it knows as a user enters the academy, are they an owner, executive, key decision maker? If so, there's a library of content just for them. Are they a member of the frontline team? They still get that great content and product training. It's going to take what we do at prime time and make that an always on, on demand, year round learning environment for the folks leading the independent channel to give them a level playing field with any executive in America with relevant, very focused content to help them continually uh, maintain their status as the best and most knowledgeable at what they do. And, and with that platform, because I know, like you said, late, we love late breaking news here at Nationwide and getting sure. things ready, you know, for prime time at prime time and, and launching during prime time. Uh, what, you know, for someone who you know, may, may only know education from going to the shows, what's sort of the difference that, you know, how would you describe the education that they'll see in this new LMS platform as opposed to what they see at prime time? So Rob, that's a great question. And it's really about the format. It's about making it formatted to fit into their professional life. So I always make the uh, analogy when you go to prime time and you engage in education in so many ways, it's like drinking from a fire hose. <laughs> You've got so much content available, so many experts in that three day period that it's number one, it's hard to make all the sessions you want and it's hard to retain all the information you're exposed to. So we're going to continue to do that. The fire hose is alive and well, and it will be at every prime time. But at this show, you'll see some of that content that's available in those tracks for owners, executives, and key decision makers make its way over to the Nationwide Learning Academy and be available there for a longer shelf lifetime. You'll also see the ability to have continuing conversations on education. So I'll use Chris Kuster as a great example. Uh, Chris is, is a phenomenal speaker on developing your team, on developing your culture, and that's something you need to do year round. You can't just focus on that when you're energized and coming out of prime time. So there'll be some sessions Chris will do at the show and leave the show. You'll see content coming into the Nationwide Learning Academy online that'll continue that learning track, that'll build off where we started. And if you're jumping in late, if you didn't attend that session at primetime and you get on the LMS, those sessions from primetime will be there as well. So it gives you the ability to that track where you really have the most hunger for knowledge and go through a continuing plan that fits your schedule and allows you to build those great habits like taking 15, 20 minutes a day and dedicating it to your own development, your own learning, all those things that we know are best practices. This system is designed to enable you to do that very simply. That's awesome. And, and to the the education at prime time, you know, I, it, we've kind of talked about this um, uh, just in general, you know, at Nationwide and I think in the meetings industry and space, you know, we, we recently published a, an article uh, by Melissa Stenson, our VP of member experience and primetime guru, uh, you know, about the future of trade shows. And we, we kind of understand that, you know, they're going to be high, there's going to be hybrid events and this, we're, we all crave to get back in person. I, we know Nashville is going to be, it's going to be something, but uh, you know, there, yeah. there's still going to be that, that, you know, now that there's hybrid events or, or these virtual events, we're seeing people that don't typically have access or aren't able to get to primetime or any other show really, uh, you know, they're able to attend in some way. So that being the case, what do you sort of see being the future moving forward of NLAs at prime time? And, and how do you think that sort of evolves, you know, as the show continues to evolve? So Rob, what we see there is that we, we've built ourselves a great challenge from an educational standpoint. There's a different format that's necessary online than there is in person. Now we tried in the past, we have done several shows where we recorded the NLAs at the show. We made those available online. And then we asked members for feedback. What did you think? And they said, I just, it was kind of strange because there's a, a totally different format you use when you're live together. And we will be together in Nashville 
I'm going to go ahead and say right now, I'm going to put it on the record on the Independent Thinking Podcast. <laughs> if I have to stand on a street corner in Nashville, Tennessee, with a mattress, a refrigerator, a grill, uh, you know, a, a nightstand, we're going to have a prime time. We'll be there. <laughs> Whatever it looks like. <laughs> but we know that uh, we can't simply simulcast that part of the event. Now, there's learnings from what we know and where the world has been moving already. It's kind of like digital. You know, we've had that conversation there wasn't a change in trajectory with consumers adaptation and adoption of digital. We just press the accelerator and we move forward years in a matter of months. The same things happened with education. And I mentioned Ted earlier, Ted talks are extremely popular for a reason because they give you great actionable information and they do it very quickly. Our attention spans are shrinking uh, at just as a society, our attention spans are shrinking and the room for fluff's gone. So you'll see at live shows, You'll see more educational opportunities in shorter sessions. So the days of a 90-minute in LA, I'll go ahead and say those are over. Those are gone. Uh, they will be done in more digestible, smaller uh, duration sessions. But we're also not going to push the easy button. And that's something that a nationwide, um, from the top down, you know, from Tom all the way down, there's a dedication here that we don't push the easy button. We push the do it right button, the execute right. with excellence button. And we know we have dealers that, um, I mean, I'll tell you, growing up, my dad was GM of a furniture store. And when they were small, when I was younger, there was no way they could go to a trade show because there was nobody left to watch the store. Right. So we have, we have members that are up and coming members that are very comfortable in that spot. And they, they just don't have a team big enough to go, hey, we're going to leave for four days and go to prime time. They deserve that same access to education, that same quality of content as dealers that are able to get up and come to the show. We'll still have a live Nationwide Learning Academy designed, structured, and curated for a live audience. We'll have the same valuable content done in a virtual format, done for those dealers that attend online. Now, is it double work for the presenters? You betcha. But as a presenter yourself, uh, one of yeah. our experts on chess with Sophia, um, I've yet to talk to anybody who serves as an expert in the Nationwide Learning Academy and say, here's why we're doing it. And they go, no, 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 I don't want to do that. Everybody's embracing that idea embracing the idea of being able to touch dealers both ways and yours is a special area and i'm i'm kind of letting the cat out of the bag rob's liberation on social media <laughs> uh one of my favorite sessions because for those of you that i have great relationships with that, that have known me for a while you know that i don't do social media i've never had a social media profile and i'm keeping it that way uh, I, there are a few of us out there still i that makes me that, that hurts <laughs> my ears <laughs> that, that hurts my ears <laughs> Trying to imagine life with no social media. But one of those things that's been great for me, obviously it matters in business, right? Uh, you did a session that's that's going to take that and simplify that for us and help us to understand it. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm a huge fan. I, I hop on YouTube from time to time and I will absolutely go attend a such and such for dummies because there's a lot of things in the world I'm just, the world I'm, just I mean, I'm ignorant of and I want to learn about. So those are phenomenal resources. So guys, if you don't know a lot about social media, Come join me. I'll be at Rob's session <laughs> learning some of those great things you need to know. But uh, being able to take that and touch dealers of all sizes, whether they travel or not. And in your case, a lot of times our social media managers within the membership don't come to prime time. Right. Uh, we have to make those, those investment decisions in time and travel very strategically. And that person may not be at the show. So I can tell you with no hesitation, when I was a retail operator, um, I had three social media managers, I, any of them individually has forgotten more than I ever knew about social media. So having an opportunity to plug those folks in with experts like you to have those conversations, attend those uh, educational sessions is priceless. Yep. And even though they weren't going to necessarily get the prime time, let's bring prime time to them. Let's get them in touch with those right experts on those right topics. That's awesome. And, and I love that you're kind of weaving in your, your background because that's where I wanted to go. Uh, next, because I, for those that don't know you, I, I don't know who the, they are, because I feel like everyone at this point, at least in the nationwide family, <laughs> knows who Mike Whitaker is. But for those that don't, or even those that do and want to learn a little bit more, I, your retail background, uh, talk about how that sort of helped you, um, you know, with what you're doing with Nationwide Learning Academy and, and sort of what you're trying to build and, and uh, create there. Absolutely, Robin. And if you're there, I've, I've probably thrown my face into so many rooms that it's hard to have avoided this. So, you know, they thought they were safe to come to the independent thinking podcast not safe here anymore either. Uh, now, and, and, it, and it really is a great question. It's kind of how nationwide prime media got started and education has always been uh, facilitated here by nationwide prime media, just outside of Atlanta. 
And uh, Mr. Steve Bryant started that back in the late 90s. And I was able to take Steve's mantra that he started Nationwide Prime Media with and, and really take ownership of that. And that was taking everything we'd experienced in retail, uh, running large independent retail operations. And there were always those wish lists that we had in the corner of a desk drawer that said, man, I really wish we had access to this. I really wish there was somebody out there that could help me do that. And that's where our educational program started. The ability to pick that up and go, you know what, there's so many areas in the membership and in an independent retail company where there's not a lot of support out there. There's not a lot of fo folks talking to how best do we communicate with customers during a delivery or an installation experience. There's not a lot of folks who are saying, let's talk about how we best address our culture. How do we continually have conversations about making this a great place to work? And how does that impact our ability to hire talent in the market. So being able to come here with a wish list, and then most importantly, the relationships that came from being a retailer. Uh, that's the great thing about independent retailers. It's, it's a big family. And those relationships that I got to build as a retailer, being able to call those folks who aren't just colleagues, they're friends, and say, you know, hey guys, would you mind talking to me about that wish list that's in your desk drawer? And putting those together to say, this is a place where we know there's need. And that, that's, that's true, not just in education, but that's true throughout all of Nationwide. You know, here at Primetime, you'll see uh, a lot of buzz around the Service Leaders Network. Where did that come from? Retailers. Right. Retailers saying, hey, this is a need. And it's already worked its way into education. I had a great conversation with our brand new service director, our brand new member of the team focused solely on self-servicing dealers. And one of the first things he said out of the gate is, Dealers need more training on service. Dealers need more training on text. And while there's some things that we certainly lean into our manufacturing part, because I'll be the first one to tell you, I have absolutely no idea how to fix a dishwasher. Matter <laughs> of fact, I have a service tech going to my house tomorrow because mine's broken. <laughs> but what we do know is we do know uh, all the resources and we have all the, the, the folks in our panel of experts that we rely on regularly. They can talk about how do we best create an experience at that point. And then we have those connections to the folks to teach you uh, which buttons to push and, and how to do the diagnostic. It's providing that kind of support that it fills the gaps and it ultimately can help equip members to continue to humiliate the empires of the big box change, yeah. chains and the lumber yards in the experience that they can deliver to today's consumer. And I think that's only going to become even more important. Online reviews aren't going away. We, we all know that. Great services like Webfront's Review that are helping you stay on top of that. But one of the fun things I would encourage everybody to do as they educate themselves about their market, go look at the online reviews of your competitors. Go look at the orange guys and the blue guys online reviews. There's so many things that come out that are really educationally based. They say, hey, I went in and I don't, I haven't bought a new refrigerator in 20 years. And there was nobody there that could have a conversation with me. Or they went in and said, hey, you know, I, I, I had folks come to my home to do a delivery and they left because they looked at the door and said, no, no, we can't bring that in. Nobody ever taught them how to take the doors off. So there's so many areas where their experience suffers and it's because they don't invest in their people. They don't invest in developing and educating their teams. It's a place where we have every opportunity and every obligation to just spank the pants off of them. And as we do that, it continues to become part of the independent story. We know everything's trending local right now. I mean, yep. it's, we're in a local wave and that's great. And, and let's all be honest, that's ebbed and flowed over the years. Let's make this one the one where we keep that tide coming in to independence. And a lot of it boils down to consumers have less time than ever. And suddenly they also, they don't really, they got used to being able to do things very efficiently during the pandemic. I'll go ahead and bet. Did you go to a physical location to purchase that beautiful Beautiful microphone that I'm totally envious of. Absolutely not. <laughs> so, yeah. I because we not. don't have to anymore. No. And that's yep. becoming true for consumers as well. So that's another place where the Nationwide Learning Academy is always and ever expanding. Yep. Um, we're, we're in the process right now of going through discovery with our teams at RWS and Sight on Time and creating assets that help educate the consumer. Uh, help the, the consumer make their decisions very quickly, whether it's measuring for your new refrigerator, whether it's 
you know, looking at what kind of laundry that you're interested in. Consumers want to do so much more of that learning before they interact with our teams. When they go into the consideration and evaluation phase today, they're spending more time there than ever. And they're yep. looking to educate themselves. Now, where we can be at a real disadvantage if we don't take the time to make sure our teams are immaculately educated, we're all of a sudden dealing with a consumer who knows far more about the business we're in than we do. Right. Now, that's that's been true for a while with a lot of things available online. If, if I drill in on one specific dishwasher, I can know more than any salesperson ever about that specific model because they have to know about hundreds. But we have to be on the cutting edge of innovation, of product technology, just to be on a level playing field with our shoppers today. Right. And and the un unbelievable thing, I think, um, that gets often overlooked in, in terms of what we do and, and what you guys are doing with Nationwide Learning Academy is that, you know, it sounds like something that if you go anywhere else, uh, you'd have to open up your your, your pocketbooks and uh, wallets and expect to, yeah. uh, you know, fork over a, a decent chunk of change to, to get access to something like this. It's a member benefit. They're like this is a member benefit, something that you guys are providing, you know, at cost of membership to nationwide to ensure that these guys have access to this education um, and all of this, this training. Now, Rob, that's very true. And I will say this, I want to make sure that we clarify this point because we all know that uh, in many, many cases in the world today, you get what you pay for, right? Right. So here's where it becomes another benefit of the scale of nationwide when 5,200 independent dealers work together. Because I'll tell you, creating quality educational content, maintaining a user-friendly, intuitive, and very functional platform, none of that comes cheap. And we haven't even talked about MemberNet Rewards, which reward learners not only with certifications, but with real world dollars and cents for honing their craft, becoming better at their at their profession, we don't charge members a premium for that. And that requires investment from all of our partners. And if you think about it like this, if we all come together as 5,200 independent retailers and we all throw a dollar at it, the dollar didn't hurt us. But the 5,200 bucks is certainly a significant amount of money to get something done. That's how education works. It's through those manufacturer relationships and through our members collectively at scale that we can bring this to them as a benefit of their membership. Now that's not universal. Um, I won't name names. I won't point fingers, but there are other groups that will say, yes, we can get you education. Please write us a check. We don't believe that that should be uh, a, a, an obstacle any member should have to surmount. The access to high quality, high impact education is so important. It's a place where we invest. It's a place where we really have a dedication. We've never charged a dime for it. We're not going to charge a dime for it. We're always going to give you access to education. It's, it's just like coming to prime time. Um, yes, it's not a cheap date to put that show together, but that's why we have great relationships in the manufacturing community. And that's why we invest significantly in giving a great experience. It, it happens online as well. We want to bring this together for you. We're not going to tell you, hey, there's there's over 100 education sessions here at Primetime. And for the low, low price of you know $29 each, you can access these sessions. That's sort of become the model uh, of learning at large now is yeah. it's, a, it, you know, you're going to pay per session. And you do. You pay per session. We're going to charge you absolutely nothing more than your time and attention and give you that opportunity to learn, which is really important in today's world. Absolutely. Uh, and I mean, you can see that just, it, it kind of feels like it took hold, you know, education always had some sort of, it felt like a charge to it at, at shows, but especially in this virtual environment where, uh, you know, you could register for shows, get a look at, you know, um, even if you're a member of an organization and, and go look at the, the trade show floor, browse around, but, you know, if you wanted access to those next level educational or, or um, opportunities to sit on, um, some sessions with some speakers and, and, and things like that. It, it just, it had a premium to it. So to see that nationwide is not doing that, it just speaks to the, I think the important, not only the value of the membership, but uh, the cost of membership, but um, you know, the value of education and, and making sure that everyone has access to it. And ladies and gentlemen, that is inclusive of all sessions at prime time, even those led by <laughs> phenomenal experts like Rob Stott. Yes, Rob, we will not be charging back this fee. <laughs> I tried. I tried to get a speaker's fee, but I, I guess, you know, I, you know, I don't have that to the door, right? <laughs> I don't have that kind of leverage yet in my life. <laughs> so.
All right, and thanks again to Mike for uh, taking time, uh, a lot of time, and chatting with us about Nationwide Learning Academy and everything that he's working into. Uh, you know, this week of prime time, virtual prime time, and uh, what it what it's going to look like moving forward. So we'll be interested to continue to follow the evolution of Nationwide Learning Academy, and I look forward to seeing what's coming. So. And like we said at the top, you know, hang on. This is only part one of our interview with Mike. Uh, we got uh, another episode coming down the line where he actually flips the mics and uh, has some questions for us and, and things we're doing from a communications perspective. So we're looking forward to getting that on. But uh, for now, appreciate him taking the time chatting with us. And have, as always, appreciate you listening to the Independent Thinking Podcast. And we will catch you next time. <laughs>